Welcome to Anna's Puzzle Corner. Today we're going to go ahead and do a puzzle ball. Now this puzzle, it's specifically made for little hands and it's for children ages four to six. But any age can do this puzzle. It's fun for everybody. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna open this box up and see what's included in there. It does say that it's got 40 pieces, so it's going to be fairly quick to do. But of course, you can always take your time, enjoy doing the puzzle. It's not a race, so take your time and enjoy doing it. Let me go ahead and open the box. Let's see what we've got. Okay, now the box does have a warning on there. It says it's not for children under the age of three because it can be a choking hazard. Now in our box, we have our badge of our pieces. And this is something new. I haven't seen this before in one of our puzzles. There's a little dome. It's got two plastic rings. One has circles. The other one has stars and triangles. And here's our little guide. So the purpose of this dome, and it's a really good idea since it is for little hands, and especially for someone who may not have done these uh, glow puzzles before. This is going to help you put your pieces without having to grasp onto them because sometimes it can be a little bit hard, especially if your hands are tiny. So let's go ahead, let me read the instructions and then we'll go ahead and we'll start getting started with the puzzle. I'm also going to open up our bag and separate our pieces. There's not that many. I'm just going to put them in order by numbers. Um, if they have numbers, usually these puzzles do have numbers on the back. And that way you can put them in numerical order. And I usually will group them uh, in sets of 10. So let me go ahead and open this up and we'll see how these puzzles pieces are um, labeled. Okay, now in order to open your bag, you're going to need some scissors. You could probably use your child scissors so that you don't cut yourself but since the plastic is kind of thick you may need an adult to use some regular house scissors now look at these pieces they're really nice and colorful and on the other side you're going to see a number you see the number on there there we go so these numbers will tell you in what order you're going to put your piece in and also, if you don't notice that little arrow underneath, that tells you in what direction your next puzzle piece is going to go in. Now this is unusual, and, and I would actually just bring this up for an, an adult who's done these puzzles with me before, because usually the arrow turns, points to the right or up or down. I've never had a puzzle that shows the arrow going to the left. But anyhow, that was just something that I noticed. But all these pieces are really cute. They're colorful. This has lines on it. So let me go ahead. I also noticed that it has a straight side to it. So this is probably going to go something like this. So let me go ahead and put the pieces in order and then we'll get started. Well, I noticed something really interesting as I was separating the pieces. The box says that there's 40 pieces, so I assumed that it was going to be numbered 1 through 40, but they're not. 
Instead, what they did is they numbered them 1 through 20 two times. But the way that you're going to separate them is that some have just a number on it and some have the number with the lines. See that? So that's how we're going to separate them now. So we're going to put the puzzle pieces that don't have the lines in one tray and then the pieces that do have a line on the other tray. So let me go ahead and separate those again. Okay, so now we can get started on our puzzle. Now, according to this diagram, we've done step one, which was to separate our pieces. Step two is putting the ring that's got the little hearts on top of the globe. So I've done that right here. Now, step three is telling me which puzzle piece I'm going to start with. Now, we know that it's going to be the one that's got a one on it. But another cool thing about this is that it's got little hearts. Just like in the picture. And those little hearts on the puzzle piece are going to go into the hearts that are on our ring. So they're going to just pop right in there. Just like that. See how simple that was? So since we've done our number one piece, let's go ahead and look for number two next. And number two is going to go right here. So, after number two, what comes next? It's going to be the piece that's got a three on it. Sorry, it takes a while for the camera to focus on the number. There we go. All right, so this is going to go next. Okay, so what comes after three? It's going to be number four, which is this piece right here. Number four. There we go. Now, there's two circles on the back. So I'm thinking that puzzle piece number five probably has two circles on the back. And it sure does. Look at that. There's puzzle piece number five. And it's got those two circles. And it's going to fit right in here. Yep. I really like this because it makes it so easy to handle and to hold. Okay, so that was number five. So now we're gonna do number six. Now, number six is a little tricky because it looks just like number nine. See that? But the way that you're going to know which one is a six and which is a nine is because the arrow is always underneath the number. So see how the number six has the arrow under it. And the nine has the arrow under it. Also, that little dot will always be on the right side of the number as well. Plus, another hint 
that this is number six is that all the pieces that we've been working on so far have had this little straight edge on it. So this is your number six. And this is going to go right here. And you just pop it in there. There's number six. So now let's do seven. Right there. Then we'll do eight. Now look at this piece. See the arrow? That arrow is pointing upwards. So what that tells us is that our next puzzle piece is going to go on top of this piece. So this is number eight. We'll snap it right in there. Okay. So this was number eight. Okay, so now let's get that number nine piece that I showed you earlier. And it's going to go right here. Okay, number 10. And what I forgot to show you was that in back of that piece, where that arrow is pointing, that's letting us know where our next piece is going to go. Okay. So number 10, is there. Next is number 11. And what comes after 11? That's right, number 12. See our pictures are starting to form? Okay. Next is 13. Now we gotta look for number 14. Next is number 15. And here is number 16. Okay. So now number 17. We're going to start closing up the gap on top. And then 18 goes right there. Then 19 is going to go right here. just snap into place and our last piece for this side of the puzzle is going to be number 20 and it's going to close right here and there we have half of our puzzle done already so now we can remove it and it's not going to come apart. 
And now we'll start with the other half of our puzzle piece. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and place this on our dome, just like that. See, it's got this little wavy part. But the wavy part goes on the bottom. Okay, so we start over again. We're going to start with number one. And number one has these little stars on it. So we're going to put it right here. We're gonna align it with the stars that are on that yellow band. Okay. And we're just gonna continue just like we did the first part. So here it goes. Puzzle piece number two. Puzzle piece number three. Puzzle piece number four. Where is it? Here it is. Puzzle piece number five. Puzzle piece number six. over so you can see it better there we go that's better we can see it better this is number seven it looks like it's popping out of here and here is number eight Fourteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. And 
and here goes our last piece, number 20. And don't worry about, don't worry that you're going to put the piece in wrong, because if you try to, it won't fit. See, if I try and put this in, and that's not the way it's meant to go, it's not gonna fit. So then all you do is just turn it around until you get it in the right spot. And there you go. So now we have the other part put together as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to remove this off of the dome. And look at how neat they look on the inside. So now what you're going to do is just snap them in place. And there you did your puzzle ball. Now another cool thing about this piece is that if you want, you can use it to hide stuff. Look how easy that was to open. You can put your money in here. You can put snacks for later. And it's got your numbers. You've got one, two, three, four, five. And then you turn it around. You have six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You've got the numbers on top as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's see. Yep, they're on the bottom also. Look at that. It's a little caterpillar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there you have it. You did your first little puzzle ball all by yourself.